Now then, so I just recorded a fucking video and it didn't record, did it? Great. So, <laughs> excuse me if I sound a little bit tiresome, which I don't like doing this twice. <laughs> so, what I talked about in the video that you haven't seen because it didn't record is just basically what I've been up to on my bike this week. Um, little bits and bobs rebuilding the bobber. Lots of alliteration there. Um, it doesn't look like I've actually got that far, but I've been doing lots of little fiddly bits. I'm still working full time, so I don't actually get that much time, or well, as much time as I'd like, but do we ever, you know what I mean? So, quick rundown then. Fr start at the front of the bike. Let's walk and talk, walk and talk. So the front of the bike, new down tube, fitted. Um, the last one actually vibrated off. I don't know if it vibrated off while I was riding it or while it was on the trailer, but it is, well, it was no longer there. So yeah, it jumped ship big style. Um, so what, I don't know if you noticed when I fitted the engine, I'd fitted this part of the exhaust already. The, sometimes people call the squishy bit, the squishy tube bit, because it's squashed there to fit between the engine and the frame. I'd already got that fitted because on my bike, I have to tilt the engine back a little bit to make enough room to get that in. So, um, yeah, I'd got that in already. So then I've put the down tube in. Now, the exhaust previously just had, I think this is like what they have as stock, is just, I'm trying to get a good camera angle for you, it's just the stud in there. So I think it's UNC into the engine and then you have like a little UNF bolt. That's chewed because I've had uh, pliers on it, time to loosen it off. But I left it in there to show you. You're welcome. Um, so that's what it used or used to have. I get my words out. But what I've bought is this sexy little kit from Colony. Ooh! Yeah. This is actually pretty decent. So it comes with um, this like fancy hex bolt focus please oh dear um and a like a hex washer which is a special shape and then at the top there you've got the circlip to hold that in so i don't know if you'll be able well or how well you'll be able to see it fitted here so you've got there you can see the hex bolt with the washer that's the washer and then the circlip holding that washer in so the theory is I'm going a long way around explaining this, but what happens is if that screw starts to loosen, that washer will hit the exhaust and stop it coming off. So in theory, that bolt shouldn't come out. Who would have thought on a Harley Davidson? But I've locked out the bastard anyways because yeah, you know what it's like. Um, fitted that, fitted the generator. I mentioned that briefly on the I said I didn't mention it at all in the last post but I did post up about it so I won't go into that but yeah that's just a couple of bolts two bolts through the side of your case one there one there there you go screwed that in and if you move down here people you will see the front plate there so this is for like I've got I have foot boards on this and uh, so I've started a mount of that mount of this rear brake pedal I've got a mechanical rear brake on this which for those that don't know basically that means that you've got like a, a, a physical mechanical linkage between your pedal and the rear brake and what that means is you have to have this like cross piece so there's basically an axle through here with some square ends on so that when I press down on the foot peg it twists this and then there's one on the other side that then transports that movement to the rear drum brake. It's quite overly complicated. Um, originally, this bike had a, a hydraulic rear brake on it, or a juice brake, if you're American, um, which is really good, but I let that go for an extraordinarily cheap price um, because I'm an idiot. And um, I like danger, so there you go. Um, I had to modify this foot pedal um, I'm trying to, sorry my camera angles are really bad so I tried to modify this foot pedal I had to I'll tell you I'll tell you for why because 
it actually stuck out too far. So this silver bit stuck out too far, so that it was, it was effectively like that, so that when you tightened your nut down and your washer, you were tightening down onto this, which basically means if you tightened it up properly, this couldn't rotate. So I don't know what I did last time. I'm assuming I loosened the nut off a little bit so that I'd got some movement. Um, because otherwise it wouldn't have worked. So I still need to just lube that up with some copper slip or something. But yeah, so what I just basically got the grinder out, took the uh, took the front face off that so that now you can see I've got a little bit of a step so that when, you know, that washer is properly fitted down you've, you've you know you've got a little bit of play so this can happily happily rotate um tightened all that up put some lock nuts um they come with these really ugly big what lock washer things but like i said belt and braces that's all on i've got a grease nipple fitted it's all greased up um happy days um, so yeah, so around to the other side. So this is the other side. So when you push on the foot brake, that's what happens. And obviously, and that is the rod that would go to your rear drum brake, which you'll just have to imagine for now because it's on the floor over there. Um, I also fitted the rear brake light switch. So the, there's no front brake light switch. This is just the brake light switch. So. You can see that's just a universal job. Um, I literally have just zip tied that to the frame because you kind of want it. You kind of want a bit of flexibility and movement on there. You, you know what I mean? It's it's kind of not. It's kind of less than ideal, really. But basically, as you can see, as that moves, that spring. Whoops! There's the phone. Um, pulls that little black peg out, and then that turns your brake light on. Hopefully. Um, transmission. Talked about the transmission last time. God, I'm rattling through this now. I'm sorry. Um, so, got the transmission mounted. Not quite properly. I haven't tightened it up, so I've still got horizontal movement. Um, forwards and backwards. What i also done is, uh, there's just, okay. So, you've got the four bolts that go through the transmission plate. There's also a fifth bolt. Well done if you're keeping up with all this. Let's see if I can show you the fifth bolt. The fifth bolt is here. Is that the fifth bolt or is that the drain plug? That's the drain plug. That's the fifth bolt. And he sits on this little uh, bracket tray off the frame. And I've made a little shim to go in there. It's just a one and a half mil thick piece of mild um, stainless steel. Uh, but I didn't have one before, which is a bit worrying because that means... When I bolted the transmission down, I was effectively twisting it. So, thank God, that's not broken. So I've got the shim in there for, for now. So then when I'm ready to tighten that down, I can tighten it down. Talked last time about a gear shift lever. It feels like I've done quite a lot, actually, when I sit and talk through it all, doesn't it? Um... So I made up this. Ta-da! So after much measuring and marking out, um, I made this sort of like little gear shift lever. Yeah. So this is not what I'm actually going to use because you shouldn't actually have the levers coming straight up off the top like that. So what I've done is I've measured that up. I've figured out all the dimensions. I've drawn that up in CAD and I've sent that off for some to be made and I'm getting some made in mild steel and some made in stainless but just just the disc part, just the bottom bit. Um, so if you want one, let me know and I'll sort you out. Um, so yeah, I've ordered it in mild and stainless so I've got some 15mm stainless bar coming so I'm going to use that and my new plate um, and make my own gear change lever. The Americans call it a wretched tap shifter plate. But being British, I might call it something much more English sounding like DIY gear shift lever thing. Um, so yeah, suggestions on a postcard, please. Um, that's about it, really. Cleaned up the rear wheel. 
uh, lubed the... Oh, God, what do you even call it? I'm running out of names for stuff now. Can you see this? This bad boy here. Oops, ignore him. The cam lever pivot thing. Copper slip that up. Um, pick that up. Oh, it's going to need a clean, so it's mucky. Oh, can't have my hair getting out of shape. Yeah, so that's sort of ready to go back in. So I'll put that back in now. But what I was going to say, actually, was a guy at work has got a CB125 and he uses his daily rider. And he brought it to me because he's, it was basically, he says, oh, if I touch my back brake, it's seizing up. And when I stripped it down, that pivot peg, basically it's got, it got like no grease on it and no lubrication whatsoever. So it was just seizing up. So when I've done mine, I've made sure that there's some copper slip on there. And I'm trying to do that with everything, just fucking copper slip, grease, Loctite, double down, belt and braces, making sure everything's tight and safe and secure. But, you know, no doubt I'll have to take it all apart again, but whatever. So, yeah, so that's about it. Next, I thought I was going to have to do the, the, the primary drive. Primary drive is between your engine and your transmission. Secondary drive is between your transmission and your rear wheel. Every day is a school day. Um, so I'm not going to bother fitting that though just yet because that's going to get probably in the way of me making my custom gear shift lever. Um, so I'm probably going to look at next fitting my oil tank. My oil tank I have cleaned up but it needs touching up as well because the paint's rubbed. Yay! So you can see you've got a nice big paint rub down there. I might just use a marker pen. Ooh, don't tell anyone. Um, so, yeah, that's the advantage of black bikes, isn't it? So apart from that, I think that's about it for this week. Um, any questions, give me a shout. Hopefully that wasn't too long and boring. Hopefully that all made sense. Um, and yeah, um, have fun in your garages this weekend. And I'll see you soon. ta -ra.